We're live. No, don't we're, say no, anything. Hold on. Don't we say have anything. to get we gotta do the topics first. I know some topics. I don't know the topics. <laughs> okay, well, let me just let me. Oh just... my god, you're starting this. I'm. Pre- this is premature. This is hey premature. Guys. Grow up. Sorry, we're grown up. We're grown up now. Hey guys, what's up? Sarah Safari here with my co-host Bradley Martin. Yes. Um, what's up? Welcome to another mommy and daddy talk. First of all, I want to say happy Thanksgiving. Um, this is a Thanksgiving episode. This is our Thanksgiving. How come you didn't episode? bring stuff to decorate? You think I was going to bring things to decorate? No, they don't care about the decorations. They Where's care the turkey? About, they care about what's in here. And I have Where's a lot Where's the gravy? Say. Young mashed gravy? Po- no, mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm, I only brought mac and cheese. Where is it? I ate it. Bring Anyways, it. <clears throat> guys, I want to start <laughs> off by saying I can speak for Bradley and myself. We are very Whoa. thankful for... Whoa. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We are very thankful for all of you. What did you think I was going to say? I don't know, because sometimes you say some weird shit. On behalf of both of us, we are super thankful for you guys, the audience that watches this, that, um, you know, likes, comments, subscribes. All that good stuff. And listens and just everything supporting us. We really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. We are thankful for you. I am more thankful than Bradley is. That's crazy. But but yeah. Thank you, guys. So why don't you start off by saying three things you're thankful for? Three things I'm thankful for? Yeah. Well... I'm really thankful for Jacob. Mm-hmm. He's such a good guy. I'm very thankful for my mother. Um, she raised me. And uh, I'm very thankful for my dogs. Great. That's good. Anything else? Yo, I'm really thankful for this. This uh, The podcast setup is like, because it's super dope. Yeah. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to shoot the pods without the setup. Right. Anything else? Electricity. Because if without that, like we would also be able to transmute this into shout any out sort of, Thomas Edison. Yeah, you know electricity. I'm very thankful for. I'm right. also thankful for the roof over my head, right? Which is also doubles as the podcast studio. I'm also thankful for um, wind. It's been windy lately in like electro in, in California. There's those big things that collect electricity and like power parts of like the Central Valley. It's so it's like good for those communities. Okay, that's enough from you. Yeah, let me list a few things I'm thankful. Go for. ahead. Um, I feel like you were waiting for me to say something there. <clears throat> I mean, I was waiting for you to be like, I'm thankful for you as my co-host. No, I, I'm so thankful. And, you know, actually speaking of co-hosts, yeah. Tana bought her co-host, Brooke, mm-hmm. a car for Tana her birthday. Tana also does only... Then maybe you should start. Maybe you should start. Because why would I start? What am I going to do? What the f*** am I going to do? Like, realistically, if I did only... F- what am I doing? On only... What, what am I doing? Well, you have a surplus of women. I'm sure you could create no, some content there. I do not. I do not. Like, me personally, I don't. And none of you follow me. I'm going to be like, look at my print on fucking OnlyFans. What am I going to do there? I don't know. But maybe try to not say such vulgar things. Sorry. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it sound, it's more of like a you thing. It's not really a me thing. Mm. I think you... Today, actually, your your assistant manager, whatever his position is, Ethan, mm-hmm. we were talking about only girls, and he looked at me, and he said, why don't you start OnlyFans? And I said, on behalf of Bradley, I'm about to fire you. <laughs> well, he already knows the answer to this. It's so stupid. Well, he really said that? Well, he almost got fired. <laughs> Yo, what an <laughs> idiot, dude. We talked about this like a thousand times. Yeah. I feel Don't like you, when you tell him that, like, hey, you virtue signal on our podcast that, like, you know, you're not doing only that you're better than those other hosts. Wait, what? But what were we talking about? Um, things I'm thankful for. Oh, yeah. No, go ahead. Okay. I'm thankful for my family. Thankful for my health. I'm thankful for everyone who like supports me and follows me and like likes my pictures, uses my code, like just support in general. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for, you know, my boss. Who's your boss? You. Oh, me. <laughs> I'm thankful for uh, money and bitches. Damn it. I'm damn, also damn. thankful for those two. You're yeah, thankful for money and bitches. I'm thankful too. for the money and the the, the nice women. Beautiful women. Beautiful women. That you sometimes are like eyeing. Eyeing, yeah. Like I you, know. Not 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 at all like in a weird way. Just no, like, I do look at... Yeah. But I think girls do that. Girls look at other girls. I think that's more normal than it guys is. doing it. Because you do, you like, you'll like be like, whoa, would you see this? I'm like, dude, who are yeah, you a no, dude? I literally <laughs> am like, yo, bro, look at that. <laughs> like, what is going on with you? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a thing. Maybe that's. But a yesterday, thing. one of my uh, one of my homies was like, "You know what I like about you, Sarah, is that like if we're all out and girls come up to me, I always put my homies on. I'm like, yo, by the way, like this is like Gabe and Sam and Adam, and like this is. Oh, you're, the you're girls. like a wing. You like. Yeah, wing I try woman. to. I try to. You know. Yeah. 
Throw the shot up. Dude, you know what I'm really grateful for? All of the lessons. That you've learned? Yeah. All the people that have me and all, all the Pause. all the things that I've f***ed up and made mistakes. I'm honestly really, that's what I'm most thankful for, most grateful for. Cause, yeah. Because truthfully, like, I wouldn't have to say in any sort of regard on any podcast or anything that's, like, currently, like, honestly the most fulfilling for me. Because, like, these podcasts, I, like, I love them. My podcast, I love it. Conversation in general, I enjoy the most. Because you get to a point, like, for me, I was talking to this 20-year-old kid. I came to my gym in the fitness space. He's like, I've been watching you since I was a kid. He's like doing all this fitness stuff now. And he was like, he was who talking was to me it? about just some kid who was with Larry. Oh, I'm okay, not, yeah. Yeah. And uh he started uh he started asking me like, oh, like shooting content and like fitness stuff. And I got into the conversation about like like kind of evolving the content over time. Like cause like I can't film like how to bench press. I did must have done that video like seven, nine, ten times. Right. And like all the stuff that I've learned over all these years, it just, it just, it's interesting to see how the thing that is always the most sustainable and always, always the most impactful is speaking and, and teaching yeah. and, and giving. So if it weren't for all these things, like, you know, back when I was younger, it was like, okay, I did, I did the gym thing like a hundred percent. That's all I did. That's what I focused on. So that's the information I was giving on top of like random kind of life that I would talk about just cause I'd be in like a vlog at the time. And that's what we did. And we, we didn't really edit much in the videos. We just kind of threw clips together. Um, so it'd be like a lot longer format. But it's when I look back on all the, all the, all the like the blessings that I have, it's always in relationship to like information or like advice that I give based on just my life. Yeah. So if I didn't go through things that suck with people that took advantage or, you know, me making bad mistakes or whatever, then I wouldn't have it to say. So that's why I'm grateful for all the Yeah, all the, that's you know, true. Your experiences lessons. have like, created your perspective and 100%. now you get to you know share it on a platform with other people that's good so yeah. big big like time grandpa, grandpa brad yeah you gotta yeah. be grateful for that <laughs> yeah it is it is like in the moment i guess i'm not grateful for going through hard no it always stuff. sucks in a moment but afterwards maybe but speaking of actually not speaking of coming in there was a man outside your house mm -hmm. who let me in so kindly never seen him before yeah. And then I shook his hand. I introduced myself. He didn't tell me he was your brother, but he's your brother, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Why he's is like he a outside? Man. He's got, he brought his van here. My brother's lived in cars for the last decade. Isn't that crazy how two different, how, how drastically different your two lives are? So You're drastically. You're super bougie with that, like a nice I'll home in LA and he like lives in a van. He likes I'm definitely not bougie, but I do, compared to him, I would be probably bougie. considered bougie. Yeah. Like, he has the minimalistic lifestyle. Like, he lives, he's lived in a van for eight years. He's lived in cars for, like, ten. And before that, you by know. By choice. Like, by choice, yeah. Because he was like, F I don't want to pay rent. If he wanted to move into a house, <clears throat> would you move him in? I told him last time, I was like, you can live here if you want. Oh, that's nice. He's like, you. I hate this place. Oh, okay. Not the house, but just L.A. How old is he? He's, he's either one year or two years older than me. It depends on the time of the year. He's born in December. Okay, okay. So, I think he's 35 so he's right now. Okay. 35 Does or 36. Does he have a significant other? Yeah. She lives in the van with him. She's not here right now. She's with her family. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's so for cool. For the last, like, I think they've been together for, I want to say three years in the van together. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. It's insane. Like, imagine, like, that, that sort of closeness must just be different. Like, to, to like, yeah. there's one thing of living with someone, but living with someone but in a van. I think that's when you know if you really like someone, because if you were with them 24-7 in a van. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you if you live with someone, you can get up and get out of the house and do your own thing and then come back home to that person. Yeah. If you're in a van, you're with that person 24-7. Yeah, I mean, you could get out and leave the van. No, but you can't. <laughs> you can't? You're just, you're stuck in the van. <laughs> you're strapped in. No, but the proximity is a lot closer yeah. for the majority of the time. Maybe but you should take some tips from him. Honestly, Maybe like he he's why I bought advice. the van. Yeah, you bought a van that you don't use for a lot of money that you could have given me. <laughs> why, give, why would I have given you that money? I pay you so much money. She texts me this morning. She goes, give me the login to that bank account. <laughs> hey, I asked you for it last week. <laughs> I know. They're making you a login. Okay. Yeah, they're making you a login. By the way, the money came in, guys. It has None of us have been paid yet except for Jacob, but the money of- Jacob's money, been paid? Well, he's paid through my payroll, which brings you to my next thing. Should we, should we, this is like funny. We're talking about this on, on the fucking podcast. It's hilarious, but this is important. Tax, tax. Yeah. Should we be on payroll? We were going to talk about this. We can talk about it off camera, but it's the same thing. Um, I, 
whatever you think is best, like I'm good to roll with that because you've been in this business longer. Yeah. But I think I should do some research on it and get do back it. to you. Yeah, do it. Um, because there's so many different ways to do this. There's but taxes are so difficult. Bro. I'm gonna talk to someone, but <laughs> yeah. it's not even the fact of giving the money you owe to the IRS. Fine, whatever. But it's figuring out the most strategic way to do it yeah. to save yourself the most amount of money and not break the law. Yeah. Dude, please don't come for me. No, 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 no. Taxes are is, is for some reason too. Just California is the worst place ever for this shit. Like, yeah, they need to fix it. There's a payroll tax. So like, if you pay someone, you get charged while you pay them by the government. Yeah, <laughs> that's like that's. There's nowhere else. I I think that's in. I think maybe New York. But that's has because that. you get to write off the money that you're giving to that person. Yeah, but you do that regardless. What I'm saying is, in California, if I paid you a thousand dollars. That's the money that I write off to that person, right? Yeah. To you. Yeah. The government goes, we see you paying them $1,000. We're going to tax you on the money that you paid them. And mm -hmm. so so imagine I pay you $1,000. I got to pay you like 1000 like 107 Pretty specific. But I'm not paying you 107 I'm paying yeah, 107 yeah. is going to the government. The 1000 is going to you. They're right. just taxing me because they see me paying you. And then it gets taxed at the end of the year too. And, by then, that I, person. and then the company gets taxed and I get taxed. So, so if my company's paying that... Mm -hmm. It's regard so what I'm saying is it's a literal just a it's just an ambiguous it's just tax. A fee. They just go, yeah. Oh, you're paying them? Pay us a little too. Oh, you're paying them? You got money? Pay us too. And then and then we're taxing you and your company at the end of the year as well. So, anyways, we'll we'll figure it all out. But taxes are fing insane. And I think a lot of people, specifically in this industry, like influencers have no oh idea about taxes yeah. until you get smacked in the face. Like my yeah. ass is the same way. Because the thing with influencer money is you make money, like I'm just gonna be transparent with you guys. You make money, like say you do a brand deal, okay, and you get five thousand dollars. You you just get the five thousand dollars, and then I love how you lowballed that number. What? <laughs> just, I just love how you lowballed that. No brand deal, okay, five thousand dollars. The brand pays you five thousand dollars. You get all five thousand dollars. You have to be smart enough to save thirty percent of that. Yeah, they're taking thirty-five percent, whatever it is, for the end of the year. So then, when February, March, April comes around, and you want to pay your taxes. You have to pay that 30, 35% of that $5,000. So you have to save 1500 Yeah. You know, you can't, just because you got 5K doesn't mean you get to use all 5K. However, like when I was working at like a restaurant job, the taxes were already taken out when I got my paycheck. So I didn't have to account for like, oh, I need to save 30% of this so then I can pay taxes. Because you were a W9 employee. That's why. Yes. So it's a little different when you own the business. Yeah. But at the same time, too. So, like what I was going to explain to you, and it, it'll be helpful to people listening, like if you own a business, so you are correct, right? Let's say you get $5,000. Obviously, you don't get taxed 30% of $5,000. You have to make a well over whatever your bracket yeah. is, depending. But let's say, let's use that, as that example, $5,000, you keep the 30%, you put it somewhere. Now you can spend that 30% on things that are deductibles. Like if we wanted to buy new cameras. Yeah. We're not buying new okay, cameras. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you want to buy, you know, if you want to like put a skylight in here. We're not doing that. Okay, okay, I'm just saying, you could buy things that are enhancing business the business. Yes, and then have it as a write-off. Some, somewhat of it. and But you can only fill those, those profit, those like gaps up enough. Like you can't buy a thousand cameras and be like, oh, I don't want to pay any of this money because I have a thousand cameras. They only have certain amounts you can spend. Kids, save your money. Yeah. Everyone put your, <sighs> I was telling this, I said this before, if you have money just sitting in the bank, put it at least in a high yield savings. You'll get 4% ROI annually. I hate that. AYP, wait, AP, APY? Yeah, that's a per year. Yeah. But I think I think you should put your money in real estate. Yeah. But okay. right now it's tough. That's valid, but right not everyone can has that much to put in real estate. Of I'm course. I'm saying like if you don't have enough to put in real estate or whatever, or that's a little too complicated, all you have to do is set up a high-yield savings account online. There's a lot of them like um, – Citibank has one. Discover, I know, has one. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of like well accredited ones. Put your money in a high yield savings and it'll grow a good amount. Or put it in the sell them. You never, whenever I try to give people advice, you always <clears throat> make mockery. What else do you do with your money? You're a big money saver. I'm a big money saver. I know. I save everything. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about actually, did you see the Matt Rife drama? No, there's drama. Matt Rife drama? Matt Rife? Yes. What he came did out, he do? Okay, guys. So he came out with a Netflix special. Um, mm. you, so you did see it. He came out with a Netflix special and his opening was like domestic. Can I say that? Say whatever you want. Domestic violence. I think you can say that. Domestic violence. Um, uh -huh. 
What like was a the joke? Do you remember the joke? joke? Did you watch it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it. I just saw TikTok clips, obviously. Yeah, we're my clip, little clip brain. culture. Clip culture. So it was Matt Reif opening up his joke saying he was in Maryland with one of his homies. The hostess had a black eye. Um, like, and then he was saying, you know, like, if you got a black eye, like, the least you could do is get in the back, like, get in the kitchen. And then Matt Rice He said goes, get in the kitchen? He said get in the back, get in the kitchen, like, in the back, so, like, no one can see your black eye. And get in the kitchen and, yeah, like, make food. in the food. back, yeah. Oh. Kind of misogynistic. Ooh, Matt Rice. But then he proceeds to say... Okay. <clears throat> but if she knew how to cook, she wouldn't have had the black eye. I, Dude, here's the deal. It's a f joke. Geez. Are you... Does this offend you? No, it didn't offend okay. me. Okay, guys, shut the f up. Stop being f Laugh at a joke. It's a f***ing comedian, dude. It did comedians, not offend me. Comedians are supposed to f***ing go at shit like this. But I feel like it was, they, everyone's coming for him wanting to cancel him. Like misogynistic, domestic violence joke, whatever. But I think it's also partially because it's Matt Reif. You know, he's kind of new to the scene of like, not new to the scene of comedy, but new to the scene of like influencer. And that's how he gets famous. He got famous for clips. And so I think people think that they can like tear him down. Bro, Rather than like another comedian, if they were to make this joke in a stand up, I don't think it would have had this much repercussions <laughs> of like, let's cancel him. You know what I realized this cancel thing is? This cancel thing is like what people want you to be. Like, and also what 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 sort of audience do you garner, right? Like yeah. if if I forever and if you forever tiptoed around certain subjects, then excuse me, the minute that you talk about certain subjects, if it's not what someone's listening wants to hear or wants to hear from you or expects to hear from you then maybe immediately they're like, this person, right? But the reality is, like, you don't really get canceled. Like, I think there's a very few things that you could really get canceled for. There's, like, three things that are really significant. I'm not going to name them, but there's three things that are really significant that, like, everyone's going to be like, this person sucks for these things, right? Yeah. This other thing, and as far as just in the genre of, of comedy, it's just not that serious. But what I'm saying is people... If I tiptoed around things my whole entire career, then if I said something left ways, they're going to be like, whoa, what the f is this? I think people are, have this expectation of this person, like you kind of said. Granted, he's not new to comedy. He's been doing comedy forever. But I think his his like stardom has quickly rose. He's new to the uh, famousness of it, I yeah. think. Like, to the and there's just probably a lot of people who are like, want him because he's like this like pretty boy That's guy to like yeah. to be a certain way. But like, it's comedy. Like, shut the f up and laugh yeah or if it's not like, funny watch something yeah else. or be like, like yeah, if, if that offends you go somewhere else they said it was distasteful that's a lot of okay, comments okay I saw. but like dude we gotta stop this. and like maybe it, it maybe it was distasteful that one joke but like no the women cooking in the kitchen we joke about that nearly every time know, we do something great. the whole misogynistic thing honestly just should i go think, cook for you i'm just thinking like dude women in the kitchen no the misogynistic cooking. thing whatever i thought Maybe the part that was distasteful was the domestic violence thing. I saw the clip of, you know, his stand up, the opening or whatever. And I didn't, I mean, I chuckled. Can you show me the clip? I chuckled a little bit. I mean, whatever. I'll show it to you after. So what's happening? Is it like, oh, everyone's. So everyone's mad? like, can't. I think it's split two ways. Just like everything always is. It's either cancel him. This was distasteful, blah, blah, blah. Or like, I still f with you, Matt. Like, whatever. What do you think? Since you're a woman. I haven't been the biggest, biggest fan of his content, but like I will always watch him when he pops up on my For You page. I don't know if it's what it is, but something about him is appealing to me. His content is appealing. Watching that didn't make me hate him. Yeah. It, I, like, it, it was just another clip for me. I just kept scrolling, but I think people are making it into an issue. And then it makes me think, oh, should I not like him? Because like everyone else doesn't like him. But I'm like, dude. Like, you know what I think? What? I feel like. Remember when there was all that controversy with the, the Dave Chappelle thing and mm -hmm. on Netflix and like yes. everyone's like we're quitting Netflix and all that. a part of me is like I'm so cynical sometimes to believe that like Netflix themselves were like let's like stir some shit up. I agree, I and swear I think to I, God. because I think, but it's also because we do this type of stuff is like social media stuff, like making controversy sometimes because you know no. Bad publicity is still publicity or well, whatever. Yeah. yeah any publicity is his, good publicity. His PR team definitely knew, like, maybe well, that wasn't the best joke, but they were like, let's do it. Well, like, it's also comedy, it. though, too. Yeah. It's like, this is comedy strictly. But everyone's talking about it. Exactly. Like, we are. So I'm saying, like, I do believe sometimes that people think, like, there are certain things that dance a line that they're like, and, like, not the fact that, not that they helped him create the joke, but the fact that, like, you, if maybe if they got some response that was, like, kind of divisive, like, splitting, mm -hmm. like, someone like, this is bad, this is good, and then put fire behind it and, like, 
and hire bots on Twitter to be like, I can't believe Matt Reif. And then you get him trendy. Then everyone yeah. starts making these assumptions or, or like judgments on whether it's good or not. But I'm sure that this joke, <clears throat> his audience was a lot of women. This joke, I think, did kind of get him for more men audience. And before he, his special went live, he he was in a an article or a magazine or something doing an interview and he had said like i want more men audience more male fe- there more you go. male there followers you go. or whatever so maybe it was all a plan i think it was all PR damn song. and they just juiced it up but at the end of the day like listen like obviously it, like a woman getting beat up is not a f-ing joke that sucks yeah that's right? not but like let's i, I just want to i just like let's stay away from this in comedy Let's not attack comedians for making jokes about things that are sensitive. Yeah. Like, it's just like, it, it's just going to be f-ing lame. It's like, imagine we just keep making that worse and worse and worse. It's like, then just, there's no comedy. Yeah. You can't joke about anything. Like, I was watching old movies. Dude, they would say the funniest. Oh, my God. Like, Something About Mary. Have you oh seen that movie? Oh, my God. They would say, like, Guys, the most, Guys, have you like, seen Something About Mary? If you haven't, go watch it. Of course. If, oh, I don't know. If, of course, they've seen it. I've seen it, obviously. Old as but, dude, there are so many jokes in these old movies that are just golden man so good like There's tropic this, thunder oh my god dude that that movie's movie. amazing holy shit. but anyways how was vegas you won a lot of money tell the people we were in vegas for um a few days i didn't win a lot 10 you I mean, sound a lot. like an asshole you sound like a douchebag well, if, okay if we're gonna tell the story of vegas i won 10k but there was a lot more money that was won that in relationship is not a lot yes because yes. if we're going to tell this story, then we got we to preface that. Winning 10K in Vegas is huge. It's huge. Good job, Bradley. Yeah. But the even I'm gonna bigger. I'm going to buy Impala. Huh? I'm going to buy my car when I was 16. A Chevy Impala? 1996. And just and just can deck that bitch out. You don't That's even know what dope. that looks like, huh? Yes, I know what a Chevy okay. Impala looks like. You sure? Yep. It's, you sure? Yeah. It's an old car. I don't cop love car. it. I don't love it's it. It's fine. Yeah. It's not for everyone. But that's the thing is like sometimes cars have like a sentimental value oh, to you. Oh, this one is my childhood, man. Yeah. Straight so of course it means something to you. And to me, it's just like. Yeah. You're like, what the f*** is this? Yeah. But that's I love dope. It. You should get it. I think it'll bring you happiness. I'm going to do it. Me and Jacob are getting into building cars and sh- You literally. What? Jacob gets a new car. You got a new car. Dude, he got, he, he started like fixing up his super and I'm like, f- I want to do, I want to like put an air thing on my f- car, you know? Yeah. No, it's fun. <clears throat> you wouldn't understand. It's a guy thing. Yeah, maybe I should stick to the kitchen. Yeah, before you get punched in the face. Okay, chill. <laughs> dude, can we be funny or no? Yeah, no, that's funny. God, dude, we can't even make jokes. I would never punch you in the face. Thank Ever. you. Ever. I would never do On that. On camera. I would never do it in general. It's just like, that's actually, you're too little. Yeah. Okay. Like if you were like a big brolic, like. I think I am brolic. <clears throat> no, you're tiny, dude. You're tiny. Tell them the story. I'll tell them the story. So Brad and Steve were live streaming. Okay. The night prior, Dana was down seven hundred thousand oh, dollars. I thought it was a million. No, it was seven hundred or Are you sure? Yes. Just can you let me talk? Are you hundred percent? Yeah, the marker there was seven hundred or eight hundred thousand dollars in markers. Or a million. No, it wasn't a million. Okay. Go I know ahead. for a fact. I know for a fact because you talked to him. Because I counted them. No, I was looking. When you f- was like, I gotta go to F one. And we're like, okay, we'll just sit here and twiddle our thumbs. She goes to F1 with all her friends. No, go ahead. Continue. Tell the story. Anyways, he had um, $700,000 of debt, um, like markers. And chips. I think he gambled till like 2 in the morning. Yes. 3 in the morning. Or, or more. That's not the point of the story. No, it's, this is a significant. Dana was, I was there at like, oh, we were, were we both? Yeah, we were both there. And then we both left. He kept gambling. But we were there for how many hours? Oh, he, probably 12. We, we were there for how many hours? We were there for probably like seven, six. And, and then he gambled. He Turn. kept gambling. Yeah. That is significant. Okay. And then Steve comes in, heroic Steve. And we were live streaming. They were Brad and Steve were live streaming. And Steve, before he even started gambling, he was like, I'm going to pay off these markers that Dana has. I'm going to pay him off. He's going to be surprised. $500,000. Yeah. Five, 500000 Like all the green markers. That were 100 each. And then Steve starts gambling. He only ever pulled out $10,000. This he, is insane. Him and Taylor. What's Taylor's last name? I think it's... Is it... It's O. Okay. Taylor Lewin. Okay. So Steve yeah. and Taylor gambled for only like four or five hours. They made 10K into half a million dollars. Yeah. Steve made, what, 
340? 340, and then Taylor made the other uh, 160. 160. And this was, it was crazy because we we're live streaming and the chat, I'm reading the chat the whole time and they're like, you guys are f-ing idiots if you think. And they're even saying like, the fuck was laughing at you? You guys are going to go from this 10K to 500,000. And they're just trolling the whole time being like, you guys are so stupid. And then we were literally getting closer and closer. There was like a little bit of time in the middle where it was like really tough to break. Like, I think it was 200,000, mm-hmm. like equally together to break 200,000. Yeah. And then next thing you knew, it just blew past it. Every hand was like, they were like, the, the dealer was busting. They were winning. They were doing double hands. Like each of them were doing double hands. The last one, <clears throat> I think they got to like 400 some thousand. I was like, yo, this is good. Let's just A cut it here. Out. Yeah. And they were like, no, f- they did one more hand, 60K hand total. And they only lost, and this is four, four, four bets, four, four things to bet. They only lost one. They won the other three. That's how they got up to 500,000. And then... This is the best part, too. It's like he FaceTimes Dana. He's like, we got your money. Blah, blah, blah. Dana's like, no f- way. You guys are insane. They win the $500,000. They pay off a uh, majority of the markers. He keeps like, I think Steve kept like, I don't know how much. Like oh, maybe 10K. 10K. Did one, he said one last hand. Hits a f- blackjack. They both walked away with 10K and paid off the $500,000. Yeah. That insane. was insane. That was insane. Like live, this is literally on our channel. Like you can go kick.com, Brad and Steve show, and you could see this whole video happen live. This yeah. is insane. It was insane. It was crazy. I was like, and it was one of those things when you're watching it, you're like, <clears throat> damn, why don't they just keep going? No. But it's no, it's, but it's not how it works. Cause if it's like, not. you think you go from 10 to 500,000, it's like, just keep playing. But it was so sweaty. Those four and a half hours were so sweaty to get there. It was like, and it was like just perfect. You couldn't recreate but that. But that's insane. For ten thousand dollars, which is still a lot of money, but ten thousand into half a million is and ridiculous. Never, never at risk. Like the ten thousand, their ten thousand at the the bottom was never at risk. Yeah. Like they, they never No, I sat there for twenty minutes and they made the ten to eighty in insane. ten, twenty minutes. Insane. That was one of the craziest experiences I've ever seen. It was gambling. insane. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I ate ice cream. Oh, with bananas. You fatty. Yeah. I gained so much weight in Vegas with you guys those days. <laughs> Why? You like to eat good. Yeah, I love eating. Yeah. Eating's good, dude. That hibachi place, we went to a hibachi place and it was delicious. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, it was really good. I told you. I'm like, craving You were like, this other hibachi place, blah, blah, blah. You know, everyone does that. Yeah. And I was like, nah, trust me, dude. I really know food, though. Yeah. I'm, was- I'm honestly a foodie. Yeah. I swear. I am. Or a fatty. That's what I might call myself. Because food's just so good. And when you find good food, it just hits different, man. Yeah, that food was really yeah. good. And I knew your, you had sh- your shitty taste buds were used to some inferior hibachi. Inferior. Yeah, what was the other one called? Hibachi poppy in, yeah, in meh. Westwood. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to shit on hibachi, but I've never had it, so I don't know. But this other place I just knew, like in my gut. Yeah. We should go back to Vegas for the UFC fight. I think I'm going to take my brother. Which the? One in December. Mid December, it's uh Leon Edwards and uh Colby. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see that fight. That's at the T Mobile. Yeah, I'd like to see that fight. I love the UFC, man. The UFC is so dope. Yeah, shout out Dana White. I love the UFC, it's incredible. They treat us so good. They treat you better. They treat treat, you better. I think they might like me a little bit more. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool how that works. It's like put someone on and just like you know, fuck that guy though. Well, you also don't show up. I've been show up where. Like, you don't show up to power slaps and stuff. I've literally showed up. I went and did a fucking live stream there. Yeah, once. I've been there four, t- three or four. Yeah, but I've done. What do you mean? I, we did a whole live stream. Consistency. We did a fucking, we did a fucking giveaway on our live stream for that shit. You for, did? Yeah, Dana and Steve did some giveaway. Oh, yeah, thing. yeah. For the. Yeah. I saw that. It's all good. It's, it's all good. It's, it's You know what? If I was the kid, you know, if I was in the kitchen, I had the long hair. Might be different. They it might, might be. Tre- they might treat me a little different. If I had a master's. Yeah. You know? People like a degree. I know. You know what I, I got to reconsider like? what? Those shoes. These are my uh these are my uh my laid back shoes. Yeah, they're ugly. You're a hater, it's okay. These were like I'm not really trying too hard today shoes. I you don't have tell. shoes like that? Yeah, my Converse. Yeah, I hate those shoes. Just kidding, I really like Converse. That's some that it, it's is that like a is that a uh, controversial thing to converse? say? Like I don't like converse. Would that be controversial? Yeah, I feel like it would, huh? <clears throat> Stop sipping on that gym weed like that. What are you talking about? 
speaking this, of this one guys i want you guys to make sure you check out jim weed on amazon there's a black friday sale go check it out um it's live right now and the link will be down below in the description so oh it's perfect timing for the pod i didn't know that what do you mean it's perfect timing yeah like we filmed this today it's going up tomorrow i think that would i think that works for me though yeah the childlike stuff you, you know? are childlike but anyways check them out on amazon live now link below link below okay um by the way, too, it's on the gym weed topic. When is my mother in flavor live? Since you're like the business uh, master. Oh, I think lady. yours is first quarter next year. Really? Yeah. And when is yours second? I think so. Yeah. Don't worry. Mine's going to crush, dude. Yeah, your flavor is pretty tasty. It is good. Yours is good, too, though. I know. I can't even lie. See, like when I'm nice to you, then you feel like you have to be nice I to know, me right after. I know. I hate after. that. I hate that. Like, yeah. I wish sometimes you were just like kind of still mean so I can keep it going. I could, so I can, you know, nag you. I have a question for you. Do you think, do you like the way veneers look on people? No. Should I get some? No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you line that one up though. You line that one up. I'm sorry. And I have a butt chin. I think it's my veneer. I, need I don't know. I, I don't know. You might, you might have too much doing that. You know what I'm saying? What? You might have a lot doing that. What do you mean? Like, cause it pops out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I saw it. Um, when I met Danny, he was like, we both have butt chins. You got a butt chin too? <laughs> and I was like, Fuck. yeah, I do. <laughs> you don't really, like, really. He told us we should go to Florida. And do what? Did he tell you? And do what? I told him to tell Brad. Go to Florida and just like mess around there. In Inglewood. Yeah. He, yeah. He, I actually talked to him for like 20 minutes the other day on the phone. Yeah. You want to go? And do what? And just like mess around. Well, I feel like this guy's just going to pull his dick out. It's like he's known for that. Dude, he sent me a video on Snapchat of his friend in the backseat of a Tesla just pulled his dick out. Can you not say that word? Can you pull his dick out? Wiener. Wiener. Wiener is better than Maybe, yeah. A little Why? Less vulgar. It's vulgar? Stop saying it. God oh, damn yes. it. I didn't think it was that much of a vulgar in comparison to Wiener. Like, does Wiener mm. sound less vulgar? Yes. No, I, honestly, I want honest opinion. I think <laughs> is like number one, vulgar, right? Like number okay, two. Okay, this is not what our podcast is going to be sorry, about. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're not doing that. So sorry. Let's continue. God, dude, we're we're never going to succeed as you as my co-host. I got to find we're, new co-host. Dude, yeah, you're right. You want to start the podcast over? It feels like we need to. <laughs> I'm kidding. It feels. No, we've been crushing it. Okay. What? Okay, then you maybe you can bring something to the table instead dude, of me carrying dude. you. Dude, you're carrying me so hard right now. Yeah, maybe it's you can nice. Bring, bring something. That's up. crazy. Honestly, I'm really impressed by you. Thank you. Yeah, lately. I'm impressed by you. Thank you. You know what I'm not impressed by you, though? What? Your gym skills. I know. I've been slacking. You have been. What's going on with that? Because I've been slacking, too. I think it's hard. For me, it's hard when I'm, like, traveling yeah. and then eating. Balancing all this shit, too. Yeah, it's hard. It's taking, like, a toll on me this week. This when week's did, been tough. When did you start to notice it do that? Because, like... Before, when when, when I was when I'd wake up and I'd be a little less excited to go to the gym. Fuck. When, before, like, you know, I'd wake up, jump out of bed, and I'd like, put my gym outfit on, be stoked, and now I'm like, I don't even care. It's weird. It's weird, but you'll. I. It always goes in phases. You just gotta wait it out, keep showing up, keep pretending, and then you'll get out of it. That is what it takes, actually. Yeah. The pretending thing's interesting because it is. It is like you gotta fake it till you make it, and that is true. I know it is really true, and not. In, I don't think in the sense of like just faking, shit, but I mean like putting a face on and be like, I'm like, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Like I, I'm excited for this, and I think that's how you get more excitement, more enjoyment out of it for real. Yeah. What's it like getting rejected? What's it like getting rejected? Yeah. Have you ever been rejected, dude? I get rejected a lot. By who? By a lot of people. Who? Damn, you out there shooting shots like that? No, I'm not shooting shots, but like, no, I feel like, no, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Listen oh, yeah. up, listen up, listen right, up. Um, I don't think up. I get rejected like right off the bat, like right off the bat, like it seems like the other person's into it. And then like, as it's like weeks go on, I think that's when the rejection comes. Not the, it's not rejection. It's just losing interest in me fast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the way you said that was comedy, dude. <laughs> It's just losing. It's just gonna be fast. <laughs> really fast. Oh my god! Like they don't even wait it out to see. Like maybe it could. Be, it's just like, nope. <laughs> but it's okay. I like it. You like it? Yeah, I love being on by myself. I love being lonely. 
I actually do. I actually love it. Unlike you, you need someone. Dude. Me, I'm good. I'm good on my own. Holy shit. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Super good. I'm better on my own. Really? Yeah. Like, But like deep down? Deep down, I'm better on my own. Like deep down own. for sure. Because the thing with me is like friendships and relationships, um, I let I let small things take a huge toll on me more than they should. Like to the point where maybe my day is ruined because of something someone said or didn't say or did or didn't do or whatever. So for me, it's better to be affiliated with, you know, the genuine friends I do have and my family rather than involving myself in like short term meaningless things. All right, guys, quick interruption for the podcast. Manscaped. Yes, listen, guys, it's holiday season. Why would you not want to be like fully groomed above the waist, all in this area and below the waist? Okay. Manscaped has you for all of your needs. Specifically, my favorite, which is a lot more 5.0. Listen, boys, I mean, I'm just going to keep it a thousand. I like to keep it groomed. Some guys don't. I like to keep it shaped up. I don't know if you want to cut it all off. That's a personal preference, but being groomed here and here is, you know, it's going to, it's going to, multiply your chances you know you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit more confident feel a little bit better um they also have tons of grooming care stuff for guys F again facial stuff hair stuff cleaning everything so if you guys want to check it out go to manscaped.com right now again that's manscaped.com use code mommy and daddy which is m-o-m-m-y and a-n-d daddy.com you get everything 20 percent off plus free shipping again don't forget holiday season. This, these make great gifts. You can like send it to your dad, send it to your brother, send it to your sister too. Sarah's not here right now, but like sometimes, you know, you got to groom the... Anyways, don't worry about that. More of the story is stay groomed, stay clean, stay fresh. Manscaped.com. Code mommy and daddy. Be fresh this holiday season and forever. And and honestly, the products are real dope. Like the, the, the shavers and everything is just like very nice. Manscaped.com. Code mommy and A-N-D daddy right now to get 20% off plus free shipping for the holiday season. Do not miss it. Let's get back in this podcast. So then my days aren't ruined. Yeah, I get it. But like, I guess unless you're not searching, for, like unless, if you're not searching for like something more, but like, don't you feel like you have that like need, like just innately, like you want something serious with someone else? Like, so if you oh, can't yeah, just. Yeah, no, I, I for sure do, but not to the point that I want it to like, like it just seems like. The right person, you know, won't be coming around for a while. I have a question because everyone goes like, when it's the right person, like you just know and it's just so easy. Do you think that's true? No, I don't think it's ever just so easy. But I think I think you do know when it's the right person. But I don't think it's easy because regardless, two people, whether you're in an intimate relationship or not, and if it is intimate, then it adds even more issues because you have that other aspect of the relationship. But regardless, there's going to be like, arguments or disagreements or you know conflict about something that like sure you can handle it better if you know it's the right person you guys know how to handle each other better maybe yeah but regardless there's it's never going to be <clears throat> seamless i don't think i think it's interesting how there's like this like disney fairy tale that's always touted and like women are like when you know it's just perfect like do you think women like i like i'm gonna ask you this i guess as a woman clearly you don't think it's just perfect why do you think women fall so into that like because I've, I've had conversations with buddies and they're like, they'll talk about their perspective of, you know, when it's not working and like the things that are said and things that girls say. And it's like girls always expect like, I don't know, just like to just be seamless. so seamless and perfect when it's just yeah. like, that's just not life. That's not it. And I feel like if it's too perfect, it's never going to be, there's not going to be much longevity with something that's too perfect because you grow with a person when there's arguments or when there's disagreements. You work through them. You find a way to compromise. You find a way to work together. I don't know. I feel like it's, I mean, I'm not saying fight all the time, but I, you know. But some fist fighting is probably some good. Some fist fighting's is good. You'll, yeah. you'll, you'll toughen up. Yeah, I like that. I'm kidding. I'm saying arguments and stuff. You'll grow with the person a little bit more. I'll never forget there was a moment where... Um, yeah, I have this for you. I feel like I have the same thing for you. Like, I'd always have your back. Steve, we were in Miami at Live mm -hmm. on a table, standing up. You know, like, you like stand up. He's, like, wasted. What? Yeah, keep going. Yeah, he's wasted. He's like, bro. Because, he, you know, at the time, he was kind of just doing very, like, uh, he was, I mean, he always just kind of does edgy shit. Like, his jokes yeah. are always pretty edgy. And he was just like, yo, if I ever get canceled, man, I promise you always got me. Like one of those bro moments. And mm -hmm. I was like, dude, of course. Like I always got you. I'll never forget that moment. Aw. Yeah. 
That's so, cute. Yeah, no, you guys have a good relationship. That's my dog. Yeah. yeah, you've seen us now together more. Yeah. What do you think? I think you guys are, I think it's really good. Yeah. I think you guys have a really good friendship. Yeah. Like, he's like, there's there's very few people that I've met that I can be like, su- like I could be even like super blunt with, and like, they get it, you know? Like what do you they, think our relationship, our friendship is like? I'm like, I'm similar like that, I feel but like I'm a little, a- but I'm a little more, I'm not as mean to you as like, I could be mean to Steve. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Because you're a little more sensitive. Yeah. Which is fine. You're a girl. It's normal. I did notice you do talk to Steve sometimes. Like if you're trying to get a point across, you'll be a little more stern. A sometimes harder. I have to be. A little harder. Yeah. Sometimes I have to but be. But with me, like I feel he's, like. Because he's so, he's so playful with shit that like sometimes like I feel like you could have conversations and he may not 100% take it serious. Where yeah. you're like, yo, bro, like I really mean this. And they'll yeah. be like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Like Jacob's seen it a lot too. I, I feel like you can be straight up with me. You just have to sugarcoat it. Or beat exactly. around the bush. And then I'll, I'm will i smart enough to figure it out, but exactly. you can't be rude to me. Like, remember, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little rude. Um, but, like, you're you're not, like, you're just not a p- so it's just good. But remember in the beginning, like, before you started filming, like, content, like, not before content in general, but streaming content, I was like, yo, just be careful. And, like, I tried to tell you some things, and then, like, it all came full circle, and you are like, you're yeah, right. Yeah, because you beat around the bush I when know, you need to... But it's like, I also, there's certain things that like, I can't directly be like, yo, this is going to happen because I also can't guarantee what happens. I can't guarantee, you know, but I can like, I've seen things in the past where I'm like, I know how this can go. And I told you a little bit and I just think it's funny how full circle I'm like, I hate saying this. I'm always right. You are always, I've, I've noticed that even if you're not fully right, you are always partially right. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. I have a skill. Yeah. But it's only because I've been around and seen so much. And it's, yeah, you're it's, smart. It's you're a lot. Smart. But I feel like sometimes, and we've, we did this in Vegas a few times, if we look at each other or if you want, you start to say something and then you don't want to finish your sentence because it's bad to say, I know what you would have said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I feel like we're that good of friends. That's because that, you like, have my comedy. Yeah. That's because like you've, you've like studied me and like you've basically yeah, stolen up, my comedy. I stay up late at night, like Watch studying. all my old YouTube videos. You were like. Got it. No, when I first though, I'm gonna admit this. Yeah, um, go ahead. Admit when it. I first, when I first like met you way back <laughs> when, two things actually. When I first met you way back when, and I was like, please let me come train at Zoo. Yeah. And you were like, yeah. Like you're like, yeah, sure, pull up. I would study you so fat. That's such a nerd college. Like thing I to would say. watch all of your podcasts. I would make notes on my phone. I would. What the fuck were you writing notes about? You. Like what though? You. F- weirdo I don't know. like what no it's like <laughs> he likes red like what he only sees red yeah like that guy's 260 and like, then what? another thing i was looking through my snapchat memories yesterday i posted um was it what was it i think it was march of 2022 i got a ufc membership for a ufc gym because i was like this is when i'm gonna start making content and i captioned the picture like all right guys like i'm done with fitness 19 i'm gonna start going to ufc gym and become famous <laughs> you did it and i did it yeah but it was zoo gym that got you it was zoo gym i canceled yeah. that ufc membership so fast after yeah. i met you yeah that's crazy man that gym it's interesting i think i look back on it that gym has like helped and made a lot of people's careers dude your gym has made a lot of connections made yeah. a lot of careers it has made a lot of content it's insane yeah steve sent me an old video he sent that to me too yeah <laughs> Yeah. Did you see Last it? Last night? Yeah. Of him throwing like chalk in your face? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Dude, that's so funny to me. Why is he over here sending the same video to people and then posting on a Snapchat as well? He posts on a Snapchat yes. too? Yes. Mother <laughs> f- it felt special. But he wanted us to see it for sure. Yeah, it was a video where like we were, we were that was like the trolley. I forgot what it was. The video it was some video for, might've been for his channel or if it was like a Nelk video, I wasn't sure. But that's back when we were filming videos at Zoo Culture, for sure. The one zoo, the first Zoo Culture. The first Zoo Culture, yeah. That's now like a trainer studio. But <laughs> um, yeah, man, that gym's done crazy it's shit. It's done numbers for yeah. a lot of people. I think like billions of views out of that gym. Probably. Actually. Easily. Yeah. God damn, what a blessing, man. Speaking of that. Sure, go plug whatever you want to plug right now. Go no, ahead. I want to open a new gym in Vegas. Yeah, we're doing that. Me. I want to do that for real. You gonna be my business partner? Yes, we dude. Discussed let's this. do it. Once I start, Steve wants to be a part of it too. That's good. Me, you, and Steve. That's a good. That's trio. a little trio. That's a good little trio. 
The Rog Year Black Friday sale is still live. Go check it out. Yeah. Buy some Christmas presents for some people. There's so much cheap stuff. And if yeah. you use code Sarah, you'll get an even bigger discount. I don't know if that works that way, but they get a discount. Yes. It's an even bigger discount. They than can use your code. It's all good. Yeah, they have to use code Sarah. Use whatever you want. I don't care. But anyways, go check it out. It's live. It's great. It's amazing. Go check it out. Yeah. So so buy some gray sweatpants for this holiday season. Some gray sweats. I've been really into gray sweats lately. I love gray sweats. I got to be careful where I wear them gray sweats. <laughs> Why? Is it just too much of a chick magnet? <sighs> no, it's just, you know, I have a problem with with wearing underwear to the gym, with not wearing underwear to the gym. I have to start wearing underwear to the gym. Yeah, maybe you should do that. I'm going to start doing that. It's a problem. I um, went dirt biking. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, why? Where was my invite? Was it like only girls only or something like where was my invite to that he went dirt biking yesterday dude two girls not me i was afraid if i invited you then you would have like dipped off and been like i'm going with my friends over here in dirt bikes Mm -hmm. with some other people you know i was like i don't want to have this i don't want to feel this twice you know with raz 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 i love him yeah you're like i gotta go with i'm like okay dude peace twice i came back soon and steve was still down there you and left you us, weren't. dude. You hate us. It's all I don't good. hate you. It's fine. I love you. You're like, I'm going to go to F1. Well, <sighs> I Sick thought, invite, bro. I thought we were all going to F1. Yeah, that's why you left without us. They only had one ticket, but I <laughs> thought the whole plan of Vegas was to go watch they F1. They had one ticket for a girl with hair. They didn't have tickets dude, for us. just accept that girls have it easier than men. Dude, I, and I support it. Listen, that's that's life. I'm not, I'm not a hater in this world. That's how it is. I actually had this conversation. We were driving to... Um, dirt bike and we were talking about that and like you know the idea of like women have this like they have less time right we're like men not not less time in general in life less time being hot young yeah and well we were talking about the dynamic of like women having easier and like how guys kind of like can keep getting better not that women can't obviously they can but women have that like 20 to 30 where like they could can you know they can get it while it's hot yeah and like men can't because like men have to like build something. And that's why men can keep like reaping that benefit, I guess. And like women got to kind of get it while it's hot. So like yeah. congrats. You're doing good, dude. Thank you. You are. You're crushing. Do you, you ever think about that? That I'm crushing? That you are actually really doing well. Yeah. No, I think about it a lot. Because there was a girl in the car, Snacksy, that girl that I just yeah. signed. She said we were talking about other girls that are like influential or popular like in the fitness space. And I was playing dumb like I can't think of any. You, she, yeah, yeah, you did not yeah, know. I, did. I can't think of it. I did. I did. But I was trolling. I was trolling. And was she, he trolling Jacob? He wasn't there. He was in the car with um, Sobe. Of course. Then, you're alone with the girls. No, and, no, no. Nate was there. We're filming content. Okay. And uh, it was me, Kaylee, Snacksy, and, and Nate. And uh, we're filming. Anyways, she brought you up. And I was like, yeah, she's all right. She's okay. She's decent. That's what you said? Huh? You picked me as your co-host. I did, I did it. No, I, I said you're right. I said you're right. I'm totally trolling. Okay. I said you're right. How did she bring me up? Like, what was the context? No, she was asking, because we were talking about, like, influential women and influential men. And just, like, how there seems to be, not that there's not influential women, but because we were talking about, like, Kim Kardashian winning, like, Man of the Year. Shit, like, how that was so weird, how they put it on the GQ magazine. We were talking about other people like that. And I'm thinking of, like, all these other people that I guess maybe just the genre that I'm in. Like, I'm thinking of, like, Joe Rogan, mm-hmm. Tate, all these people that, like, speak and kind of, like, talk about it that I, again, I'm on this side of the atmosphere, right? So I'm getting that content. So I'm, like, I don't, I can't really name a ton of women. And then she's, like, well, what about in the fitness space? Then she, she that's when she brought you up. And I was thinking, she said something. She also said some other girl that I didn't know. Who like, was it? Not in the fitness space, I Alex Earl? Yes. Yeah. Why? 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 I she said that you, you said that. I brought her up before. Yeah, why? Because she's huge. What does she do? She, Alex Earl does um, lifestyle content, get ready with me content, like parties. She she went to Miami, University of Miami. Okay. Partied a lot. I'm sure everyone watching this has seen her on TikTok. Okay. She's known for like, get ready with me for like, blah, blah. Like, get ready for me with. Dude, you know what's happening? Which is really weird. I'm at a point in my life where I don't post on social media as much as I used to. So, like, TikTok, for example. I have teams and we have teams of people that post stuff for us. So I don't get on TikTok like I did when I first, when I first was on it. Mm-hmm. So, cause I use Instagram pretty reg- regularly. Yeah. Um, but TikTok is like the wave of like the new sh- 
Yeah. So when people bring up things like normally when I was in my mid twenties, it'd be like, oh, I knew everything about new people. Yeah. Now I notice I'm like, you're telling me about someone that I should, I should have, I would have known about had yeah. I been more on the app. So I'm getting in that weird space where I'm like, oh, I don't know who that, not that the no, person's not great or. She's so influential. So she just is like, this is what I'm wearing? Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. This is what makeup I'm using. She's young, great body, comes from an insanely rich family in New York. Oh, she's been set. She's been set, but now she's set with fame as well. And like social media fame has big tits or fake tits. Whoa. Fake, fake. I don't know if that's. Look her up. A A L I X. Speaking of Kim, does she have a podcast or is just TikTok? She has a podcast now. She got signed by Alex Cooper and she's dating an NFL guy. Is that who this guy Braxton is? Braxton Berrios. Yeah. He's on the Dolphins. Isn't Dude. this weird? Like, I've never met her, but I know all of her life facts. Because yeah, I, yeah. You sound see? like a huge fan. I'm a fan. You sound like a fan for She's real. She's dope. See, I can, I would never watch content like this. Yeah, Not course. that there's anything wrong but, with it. Okay, turn it off. We're, now we're going to talk into the mics. What'd you say? I'm, turn it off. What'd you say? I'm like super But I'm saying that. Advice. Turn it off, Brad. If we're talking into the mics, you can't keep playing things as well. Dude, I'm locked in. TikTok got me locked in. Okay, I'm out. I pulled out. I didn't shoot up the club. I'm done. Anyways, um, her following is all girls. Because it's very girl-like content. Yeah, I wouldn't watch that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why you wouldn't watch it. Your following is all dudes. Yeah. How do we get you to get more girls? I don't know. And my following is a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to... Because it's closely related to mine. That's why. It is. Which is fine. Yeah. What maybe, could you do to get more girls? Maybe I need to unaffiliate myself with you. No, I think you need to start doing get ready with me. I don't get ready, though. That's the thing. Well, maybe, you, you know. Little, <gasps> maybe little, I should. Try That's it. That's a good idea. Just do one. And, and see, see how it does? Yeah, I think it's going to bang. You're going to get made fun of. All the dudes are going to make fun of you. Wait, like get Like what? Like, oh, like this is like the blush I I'm do using. your makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's like, Sorry. I don't even do my hair, obviously. Do you like, even do your makeup? No, I have concealer on my acne right now. Oh, that's like, yeah. But you don't do like... No, I don't like do my makeup. Have you ever at any point been like a makeup girl? No, but if I like, if I know I'm going like out to an event, then I'll try, I'll do it like then. But like on a day-to-day basis, no. Hmm. What do you, how do you do it? Do you like get a picture of the Joker and you're like, okay, I'm going to do it just like this. Is that how you do your makeup? No. This is how this is my this is my routine for my makeup. Okay. Yeah. So I shower. I wash my face with the Dove body soap that I use for my body. And Dude, then, I feel like I I don't look. I'm not great with this whole like because you know I was like body wash this face. This. I don't do that stuff really good myself. So I can't. I'm not making fun of you, but I feel like if you say this right now, there's girls who are gonna be like, you wash your face with the same soap. That's such a dude thing. Yeah, I do. That's but, a dude thing, hundred percent. But this is the thing. It works. And you save money. Anyways, and then I get out and I have this like sunscreen that I put on my face. Like sometimes, like if I'm going to put makeup on, then I'll put on the sunscreen, like to moisturize my face. So you do a little bit. Well, this is, this is only when I do my makeup. Okay. Or else I don't put moisturizer on. I like the dryness. So you, so you wake up like a dude, you just hop out of bed, throw your clothes on. Yeah. And then dip. Damn. Like I remember I used to have class at 7.55, like my college classes would start at 7.55 a.m., right? Yeah. It was a 20 minute drive and I'd wake up at 7.30. What about at night? Do you do like a nightly routine? No. So you just go to bed? Well, I shower and go to bed, yeah. Shower, soap, soap. Soap, soap. That's it. Bed, yeah. No moisturizer, no, like- nothing. Moisturizer is only when I put makeup on because um, if I put makeup on without moisturizer underneath, then it looks like it's all dry. You know what and- I've always been curious? Like, do people who rely on that stuff, I wonder if like it actually makes the skin worse, like if you do it and then stop. I think it does. I don't like, think makeup can be good for you. But not even necessarily makeup. I mean, like all that, like lotion type stuff, like oh. prepared stuff at night, like you know, stuff girls put on their face. And shit. What? What was that? I heard a loud thud. Do you hear that? My brother's probably working on the van out oh. there. That guy's gonna be a contractor. Really? Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a construction business. You have all these yeah, ideas. Nah. Why not? And a rental car business. Is he a handyman? He's yes. Can yeah. he come to my house? He, he, he specializes in like like plumbing and oh plumbing landscaping plumbing all that kind of stuff but he can do anything what if i want to change my countertops in the yeah, bathroom he can do anything yeah he's lit 
Wow. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I. So he got the better, like. Don't he's play like the me better like brother. that. Don't play me like that. It's true. There are there are things that I do wish I was better at as a man, like stuff like that. I just never spent time to learn stuff like that because I spent time doing all this other stuff to make money. And it's like. I like that kind of man. I know. It's right. It's like. Like the kind of man that can like, that's like the, change that's, things in the house. I could do that. I might not. I might not. Brad, I know you're the type of guy that you'd say you could do that. And then when it comes down to it, you're like, I don't have time. I'd rather just pay someone to do it. So don't even come at well, me with that. The countertop thing is different. Yes. I can do a lot of other things. Like but what? Right. Change a light bulb? Eat what? I could change oh. a thousand light bulbs. Obviously. How yeah. many idiots does it take? I could, to I could do a ton of shit. I'm not going to reface my countertops. Okay. I'm well. not a professional like carpenter. Well, know? I'll talk to Andrew then. He's fucking lit though. I'm not going to lie. It, there are parts where I'm like, I, I want to be better at that. That's like he, a woman being good even, at cooking. He even looked like a man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a dig at me? What the f you just looked like a man, like the facial hair and the hair hair. He's grungy. Wait, why does he have hair hair? He's been growing his hair forever. What about you? Well, he's got his whole back. He got a hair line too. This is proof that it's steroids. No, dude. Because two brothers, two seeds from the no, same his, pod. No, his hair's fucked too. It's pulled way back. <laughs> it was way further before. He didn't take no steroids. His back. But he's got thick ass hair. He's got a big ass beard. He, yeah, he's, he's definitely a, like a man man for sure. Yeah, he's a man 100%. man. Hundred percent. When are you there, gonna become a man man, bro? Don't do me like that. That's crazy. That's like fine. I, that's fine. I make you fun do of me all the like time. That, yeah. That's fair. That's Yo, fair. can you? Did you like my Instagram pictures? Those are old. Those aren't even recent. Oh wait. Yeah, they are. Is that recent? Yeah. Where'd you take that? I took them um, last you time I was those? in Vegas. Micah took them. November. Shout out, Micah. Yeah, fire, huh? Yeah, those are good photos. When can did you, you post can that? Can you go like them five hours ago? How can I? I wish there were like thumbs downs. Someone said this should be hung in the Louvre. In the Louvre. Do you even know where the Louvre is? Yes. Where? It's in Paris, France. Nice. I've been to it. Have you really? Yeah. Paris is dirty to me. I love Paris. Really? That's where like when I get married, if I get married, <laughs> that's where the honeymoon's going to be. Okay. <laughs> we're going to Paris, France. And we're going to put one of our locks on, the, on that bridge. One of our locks. I'm sorry, I gotta find your post. Did you comment anything? I had to delete it okay. really quick. All I see is Brad's son. Yeah, that's crazy. I love how that's the top comment. It's not the top one, but it's, it's up the there. first one I seen behind the ones that you pinned. So it would have been the top comment. I'm gonna like that and engage with that. So it gets higher. Guys, do you think that I'm Brad's son? In ways, you are. In ways, yeah. We are a lot alike. It's interesting. That's My firstborn. <laughs> yeah I'm the best thing to happen to you Since sliced bread No Since Steve will do it Okay Yeah Prior to that nice. who, You know what's interesting When I look back on my Like content life It's like Where Who was it It was like Mike Mike Yeah Fousey? Yes It was <laughs> I know it, you so Yeah well. yeah 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 It was Fusi, Then Mike Then who else did I make a lot of content Yeah Steve will Steve. do it, and now you. And it's like you and Steve will do it right now. And these and are these are like your four solid friends. Yeah. Like still to this day. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Like 100%. Yeah. These people are still solid friends to me. That's pretty cool. That's that's dope. I think it's the best when you make content with someone that you would consider a friend. Yeah. And that's when it's the best content for the audience, too, because you can be the most like vulnerable or the funniest or like crack the joke. Yeah, the most real. Wait, did you and Fusi film a pod? Not yet. We are. He, you he's posted something and it looked like he was in your podcast room. That was an old clip from our oh, first pod. You teased me. Yeah, I did, did. I did your Snapchat thing where I just throw like old shit. Yes, you That's teased me fat. Dude. Yo, guys, check us out on Snapchat. Sarah underscore Safari and Bradley Martin. Yeah, Snapchat is I, I, I really just I know I've said this before. I have to say it again is easily. My favorite platform. Yeah, it's my favorite too. They are so they're so like, dude. I can't even. That's I've never, what I'm thankful for. Yo, Snapchat for real. We really. I gotta give up to Snapchat. I've never had another platform that I could text someone from the platform and be like, hey, like this is up or whatever. And they're so helpful. Yeah. There's been a there's, dude. I I can't even like I'd have to like, someone to get a hold of someone at Facebook or Instagram. Oh yeah, that's impossible. No, Snapchat's great. Yeah, best platform, can best team. You guys, kick best ass, team, dude, straight up. Yeah. Um, I love Snapchat. This is I was talking about this today at the gym on my YouTube video that um do you think it's a red flag if a guy asks for a girl's Snapchat? Yeah. 
You think so? Yeah. Jacob, what do you think? Because you're a little younger. Yes. Ugh. Yeah. Because like if that's your first go, isn't that the whole? Isn't that the app where it's like shit disappears, right? Mm-hmm. Like Danny asked me for my Snapchat to hit him up on Snapchat so he could send me a video of his friend, right? He's not going to DM me that or he's not going to text it to me. Right? I really like him. Why don't you marry him? I don't like him like that. I okay. like him as like he's funny. He's funny as f- So funny. We got to get him on the pod. I've been trying for you, bro. I Dude, tried even this so pod. fast. Dude, he said he's going to do it. I think he'd come on this one before he went on yours alone. I'll fight him on this pod if he does that. I would fight him. I think he'd come on. I would on, f- fight him. Dude. I think he'd come on ours. No, I would fight Danny Duncan right here on this carpet if he came here first. I'd finish the pod and f- fisticuff straight up. <laughs> no, he'd come. He told me he's going to come. He said he's, he's, he's actually launching a pod or something. Yeah. Um, some other things that he's working on before he does it, basically. Yeah, he's doing some big things. He's always been good at business, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good. Interesting. But Snapchat is a is a huge... Like, that's like worse than vanish mode on DMs. Like, I DM in vanish mode. I do that shit a lot. Okay, 21. It's 21 Savage. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Thank okay. you. Your favorite fuck. I love 21. Yeah. 21, 21, 21. Dude, we should... We should... Chat. 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 Dude, <laughs> I'm such a live... <laughs> But they are chat though. Yeah, chat. They are chat. Yeah. Okay. Guys, should we have more guests? Yes. I or think no? we should. Name five guests that we need to have on. I think like even Nick last time he popped in, that was so funny. Bro, the way the that that was filmed crazy. was brilliant. So f- funny. Jacob's great. Well, it's because f- Jacob did it just like as a last minute option because we didn't have another tripod, and then it just turned out being perfect. Yeah. Like the the zoom in. It was really funny. We need to have more guests like that. It felt like the episode, like an episode of The Office. Who else should we have on? Well, I want think? Steve, but it's like, oh, uh, we can't. We, we can. can, but we can, we can. It's like very, very weird. I, don't know. I think we'll give that one a little more time. Steve would be the best, but he would say a ton of inappropriate, shit and it'd be hilarious. You know what I'm talking about. And then uh, I want to get like uh, another girl. Like, what girl would be good to have? Like. Almost like debate conversation with about. Why don't we have sna- your girl Snacky on? Why don't we have Snacky? What's her name? Snacky? Why don't we have her on? We'll have her on. We can have her on. Dude, I'm dreading this traffic. Why? What traffic? Didn't you see it made it on the news that it's like the busiest few days? Are you going anywhere for Thanksgiving? Why'd you get so quiet? Well, I was going to tell a different story about traffic. Okay, go. Jacob would know this. Oh, Jacob. No, Jacob left before. My car completely went to. Wait, what do you mean? My truck crapped out on me. The Raptor? Yes. How? We drove all the way to San Bernardino to like dirt bike. We get in a car to drive back. I'm like, what the f*** is going on? So it looked like some leak maybe, like maybe because I didn't keep maintenance up with uh, the turbos. Like a leak a little oil. I swear. My car was like, I was like, what the f-? And it was like spitting a uh, little bit of oil. So it was like smoking out the back. The, the <laughs> exhaust. I love how Jacob's laughing at this. And so, like, we're over there with the dirt bike in the back, and I'm like, dude, I got to get this thing to f- home. We're taking it to the shop now to get it handled, but I'm not going to lie. I was the whole way I was driving home. I was like, please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. We're just waiting to see, like, if the oil light oil was going to go down, it would be a problem. And Yeah. We made it home. Thank God. Yeah, it was Is it stressful. at the shop now? It's going to the shop Monday. I have another car, though. It's fine. But, but yeah, it was, like, long story short, I'm driving home, and, like, you know when you're, like, I'm like, we're, it's like two hours of traffic, San Bernardino. I'm like, yeah. oh, I just want to be home. I don't want to worry about this car blowing up. It was stressful. It was f- yeah. I had everyone else in the car. Yeah, Nate probably, was asleep. You were probably so scared. Yeah, I just didn't want it to like, not like physically blow up, but just like die and then have to, f- and, you know, yeah. Uber everyone home and tow truck at home. Yeah, no, that's a pain. That's such a headache. Yeah. So if I was my brother, I just would have f- fixed yeah, it myself. I don't know what you did with your hands. I don't know. This is like I was like oil taking out the oil thing. Yeah, maybe resetting the. Yeah, you can stop with that. Okay. Yep. You don't know anything about cars. That's that's man shit. Let I me do, worry about I, that. Okay. You know things about cars? I don't know, but the other day I saw an MR2 and I really liked it. I rolled down my window. Guy was driving next to me and I said, "I like your car." And, and he, he was the, like, "Hey, aren't you that weirdo on the internet?" And he got the biggest smile on his face. And he was like, "Add me on Snapchat." No, he didn't. He didn't, no. Add me on Snapchat. Oh, okay. Would you have added him on Snapchat? No. Just because I like his car doesn't mean he's a good I person. Know. I don't know. Duh. That's the thing, though, is like I talk to you about your issues, and I feel like whenever I have issues or I'm sad about something, you're just like, F- it. it gets better. That's your only advice to me. That's what works, though. That is what works. 
Okay, I, next time you come at me with some BS, that's what I'm going to say to you. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Jacob would, would attest to this. Like, whenever I've, I've like, he's actually the first guy. I'll talk about things uh, like a bunch, and he'll be like, bro, shut the f Like, I don't want to hear it. I, yeah. I, like, I, I heard it 10 times. You know what you got to do type of shit. And I'm be honest with you, that's sometimes the best advice. No, I know my, I'm the same. It is. Yeah, I get that. But so with you, I'm just like, yo, you're f young as f You're tough. You got a ton of things going for you. Who gives a f You're so right. You got so yeah. much going. Like, why are you stressing about dumb shit? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Great. Might just end up alone, but like, you're great. Yeah, but I'm, I'd be good alone. You'd be fine alone. I'd be fine. You'd Easy. Easy. You could pay for all your own shit. Dope. Never have to rely on a man. You could be a sugar mama. To someone else? Yeah, like you could be the sugar mama. Anyone interested? Wow. No, nah, I would get a lot do of that. takers for that. For sugar you could, babies? Could you really do that though? Could you be the kind of girl that took care of like a dude? I'm if actually was, curious about this. I could take care of a dude if he was already like grinding, trying to like, you know, make his own. Yeah. If he was trying. For me, it's all about. But, but how long, how long, like, this is actually, how long is he trying? And we are like, yo, bro, let's say he's trying for five years, but nothing happens. Well, if he's just trying, then that's not good enough. But if he's genuinely trying, mm. if he's genuinely trying and he's passionate about something. What if he's really trying? It's just not working. You never know. Sometimes it takes, it's just like one altercation and it takes off. But you're like five years deep and you're like, dog, do I have to pay your rent forever? There's got to be something in you, like, just innately where you're like, ah. Maybe then at that point, I'd be like, okay, can we, like, I'd help him try to maybe shift his passion towards something else. Damn. Because five years one. is a minute. It's a long time. Five years. If five years and there's no. No traction. If there's no indication of it, like, you know, yeah, no getting traction. better, then no. maybe it's time to try something else. After yeah. five years, for sure. You stick time. by him? Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, he's still, like, trying. That's the thing. It's just trying. But if. If I really liked a guy and all he would ever do is like stay at home, sit on the couch. Well, eat, no, no one likes Whatever. That. No, Bullshit. no, I'm not supporting that. Yeah. At all. But if he was like out there from, you know, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. trying, bitch, I love that. Well, this is what I find so interesting about like. This. Like if I have the money to support him, I'll, I'll support him. But if like I'm already struggling barely enough to keep us both afloat, then it's like, buddy, find something to I make some that'll income ever to. That'll never happen to you. Yeah. Not at this point. No. Which is that's got to be a good feeling. It's a good the security. Take care of your mom. Yeah, the security of it is definitely the best part of all of this. Live down the street. Hmm. You basically live down the street. From you. Yeah. Yeah. It's sick. You can take care of me. I know. We keep taking care of each other though. Yeah. Easy. And I always said, I always this is like a blood pack I make with all my really close friends. We I made it in Vegas. I would always take care of your mother and your family if anything happened to you. And I'd do the same. Oh, let's let's do the let's do the questions. I pay any amount of money to drink Sarah's bath water on God. <laughs> I don't expect. take baths. Really? Can, yeah. I love baths. I don't remember the last time. It's baths are gross. You're sitting in your own filth. Yeah, but like the the vibes though. Like the candle, a little incense. I don't have time for all that. It's a five minute in and out. Really? Yeah. I love baths. I think baths have been one of my one of my keys to success. I swear to God. You guys are laughing at me. It's so I love how Jacob's laughing. I've been taking hot Epsom salt baths for oh. the last 10 years, and I get the best ideas. All right, Grandpa. I'm telling you right now. I think it has to do with the heart rate, because I take super hot baths. I don't take, like, lukewarm-ass bitch baths. I take the kind of bath that you jump in. That Yo, shit. why are you so passionate about your baths? Because I'm not I'm not joking when I say this is, like, really life-changing. you life -changing. pee in the bathtub? No, dude. I <laughs> No. You know what I do? And you then know do the you truth? sit in it? Do you want to know the truth? What? It's super hot, right? I put my feet in, like, up to here, and then I'll be like, it makes me want to pee. I pee. I come back. Done. You're lying. Swear to God. Okay, one more question. Okay, that was I want to get this get over Question with. for Sarah. What values do you want for your future husband? And would you become Muslim since you wanted a Muslim? You, you said you wanted a Muslim husband? I didn't say that. Oh, that's what Layla thought. Layla? Yeah, I don't but know. But I mean, I'm down. What? Oh. It's okay. Forget the Muslim part for no, now. No, he doesn't have to be religious, but I feel like sometimes religious people maybe have already set their morals i morals, don't know yeah i see what morals you're saying. are a little more aligned so i understand like I, I mean i'm not very religious but like if he was religious that'd be great that, that's fine but i feel like i'd have to be on par with his religion or else it'd be a little disrespectful i don't know maybe i have to figure the religion don't worry part about out. the religion part okay right now. that overwhelms me go what values do you want for your future husband like what what five values what four four 
Let's do three to make it easy for you. Okay. Three um, really important values. He has to be empathetic. Like understanding. Understanding. Of your problems. Yeah. He has to be family oriented. Of course. He has to he has to be able to um, communicate very properly. Um, driven or passionate about something, like I was saying earlier. Yeah. Um Yes. To Why'd you get all soft spoken? I'm just thinking fuck? of all the qualities that are pretty easy for all these people to meet, and then no one meets. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not saying like like I've seen so many girls on Fresh and Fit being like he has to have a master's level level of education, six figures a year, six foot tall. Yeah. No. It's but, insane. Or like how much money you make a year? It's like anything but that is, would be great. But it's different because you have money. I feel like a lot of those girls come from a place where like they're they don't. Like those girls, I think mm. I feel like are needing that. That needs to be a part because they need that, like yeah. sanctuary. Yeah. yeah, true. Okay, those are good. There's a bunch of yeah, people saying Jacob Sophia, should be on the pod. I see. I saw Sophia Franklin, Sophia with an F, say how um, the man can't take you on a first date to a chain restaurant. That's an automatic red flag. Like if I took you to like cheesecake. But that's not a red flag. Cheesecake's good. Cheesecake's fire. I guess first date. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's like these certain. There's, there are certain standards that women have that are like it has to be like this or like that. I don't know. Because I was, it. and then I was talking about this on my YouTube video. I feel like if he was like, "Hey, let's go grab In and Out," I'd be like, "Oh my god, he knows that I love In and Out." You know what I mean? Like, if he was like, let's go to Nobu, I'd be like, does he not listen to me? Like, I hate sushi. But Nobu's good. You can buy, like, there's some, there's a steak dish, like a steak and onion dish. Oh. It's insane. You'd love it. When is Sarah really going to start streaming? I'm going to start. It's been a, it's been a rough few weeks. Why? I don't know. Just oh. family things. But now we're, we're okay. We're good. We're getting back into the groove of things. Sarah, <laughs> has your opinion Slash attitude changed towards only now that you have been around people in the space, i.e. Sky Breeze, Steve's girl, Selena. You should get on one. Of, you should get one of them on my name, Daddy Talk, and have a real talk about the space. Yeah, no, actually, great points because Cell and Sky Breeze both dope people. I'm not saying the people that do only fans are shit people. That's not at all what I'm saying. Both of those yeah, girls are amazing. Yeah, I'm not saying. I'm just saying that it's not something I would ever do. The same way that like they probably would have never maybe not want to post fitness content or make, you know, like it's just, it's all subjective. It's all up to the person. Yeah. I would never do that. I have, it's not like I see a girl and she has an only and I think less of her. That's not at all what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think like that. I made jokes earlier about like, oh, it's because you didn't bring me because I didn't have an only. It's not like that. Like I don't care if you have one or don't have one. I'm just saying that I would never make one and it's nothing. It's just a personal preference. It's personal preference. Yeah. So this is one more. I think this is a long one, but I'm going to read it. It said, I saw this nice YouTube comment defending Sarah and wanted to see her thoughts on it. As someone who, I think this is a comment quote, as someone who has been seen as feminine my whole life, I never understood people calling Sarah masculine. They see her appearance and immediately label, label her as that, but her character is actually very feminine, attentive, super caring, not a hoe, highly sent. Damn, they really went in. Wow. This. Highly sensitive, very sensitive. You're super I'm sensitive. super sensitive. Innocent emotionally mature but y'all only see muscles and can't see anything past that damn muscles she could cooked disappear and tomorrow doesn't and, and muscles could disappear tomorrow character doesn't what the who is that i Someone, need to dm that i feel like you wrote this i swear to god i did not write that on my mother's life sure i know i'm smiling this? but whoever wrote that cooked she has a higher level of diction than i do yeah wow whoever wrote that comment but so what's your so do you do you get annoyed when people like just, no, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, like, it bothers me sometimes. I'm not going to be like, oh, it never bothers me. Sometimes, sure, it, it bothers me. But at the end of the day, whoever doesn't fuck with me, you can go fuck yourselves and stop watching my goddamn content. Straight up. Yeah, I like, agree with that. It just comes down to it. Like, if you want to leave a hateful comment, like, go for it. It'll boost my algorithm. But do something better with your goddamn time. Like, please. Like, why would you watch a 15 minute long YouTube video just to sh in the comments? Like, you, you, you just wasted. 30 minutes of your own time. But you've known that. You've no, known No, I know that. But yeah. I'm just saying that, like, at the end of the day, 
I think I've grown in the past few months a lot with conversations I've had with different people. If someone doesn't like me or if people don't like me, I could not care less. That's good. That's That goes back to the thing we talked about earlier about the whole like being canceled and Matt Rife. It's like, listen, you you either like play into the shit where you like constantly tiptoe around stuff or you're just yeah. like, hey, listen, you don't fuck me. That's fine. Yeah. Someone else will, you know, own that shit. I think that's how I think. I think it's just really important just for people in general, like fuck content, like content creators aside, like people in, in your life. Like if there's someone who constantly has some sort of like judgment on what you do and yes. how you do it, just maybe yeah. just spend less time with that person. Exactly. This is not just about like hateful comments. It's about in general, even if someone you thought was a friend and they don't, you know, they don't like you anymore. They talk behind your back or they don't support you anymore. Fuck it. Cut them off and find a better friend. Yeah. Is it-, it is simply that easy. Yeah, I mean, it could be hard to find a friend that you can like really make that person. But yeah, like at the at the core of it, you you shouldn't be surrounding yourself with people that you know are like actively like constantly, preying on your downfall. Yeah, or whatever it is, because yeah. they can all suck. suck. Your- yeah, suck. All right. Well, I think that's right. about it. Yep. You didn't get that joke. But I did. Good. Can you just like grow up? That's why I didn't acknowledge it. Yes, I'm growing up right now. Love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys want to leave any more fire questions, go great, to the Discord. Yeah, yeah go to Discord. Discord.gg slash raw gear. And you scroll and you find mommy and daddy talk. You leave all your questions there. We'll answer them at the end of the podcast. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank I you love for you guys subscribing. More. She loves you guys a little less than me, but it's okay. Not we're out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Also, if you didn't know, we're on iTunes and we're on Spotify as well. So if you want to listen on those other devices, or if you want to just listen audio only, we're there as well. It's mommy and daddy talk. You can find it everywhere. Go check it out. Yeah, that's it. Love you guys. We're out of here. Bye guys. Yeah.